So it's been a while for two things. First of all, I haven't made a video in a while, so uh, sorry about that. Also, this machine hasn't been out for a while, this absolute machine right here. So if you go back on some of the first videos on this channel here, Old PC Audio, most of those videos involve the Windows 98 machine. And a while ago, the motherboard died, and the system was also trash, and had a Celeron, and was pretty bad, and didn't even have an AGP slot or anything. So after nearly a year of downtime, the Windows 98 machine has finally returned better than it's ever been. And here it is, let's check it out. All right, so here's the new system in this really old ATX case right here. I actually found in the plastic side, 1997, pretty early for ATX here. This case is also a bit of a problem too, which I'll talk about later. So as you can see on the front here, we have an LG DVD rewritable drive. Um, pretty good right there. Um, we also have this swappable hard drive bay right here, useful for accessing IDE hard disks. Um, our standard three and a half inch floppy. Um, there's our clicky old power switch right there. Um, Non-functioning LEDs. Reset button that's for some reason pressed in, so you need a tool to press it. I might just drill a hole in this blank plate here and put a momentary switch there as the reset button. So this system was originally property of Applied Systems Canada, which is interesting. And this was 30 bucks at good old Value Village. So on the back, we have a power supply that probably isn't good. We have our motherboard here, which might look familiar to some Windows 98 enthusiasts out there. Here's our video card with S-Video and Composite. Here's our network card, and you could probably tell, Sound Blaster Live. So this whole setup here, this is really the Windows 98 machine that I dreamed of having back in like 2018 um, when I was getting the most use out of my old Windows 98 machine. Couldn't find anything like that anywhere. Although I almost bought a Pentium 3 off Craigslist. That would have been interesting. So let's check out the hardware in my, as I say, dream Windows 98 machine. Yeah, this whole case thing comes off. As you can see inside, here's our hardware here. You might really start to recognize this motherboard. The motherboard here is the ultimate Windows 98 motherboard, the ASUS A7V133. This right here is an AMD Athlon at 1.05 gigahertz. The video card right here is a uh, NVIDIA GeForce 4 MX440 AGP, you can see right there. I would have gone with an FX5200, but it turns out that my FX5200 card does not work. Here's our Netgear FA310TX Ethernet card right here. As I love to have my old computers on the network, you can do web browsing, you can do LAN games, whatever you want. And down here we have the Sounds Blaster Live 5.1 SB0100. You can't have a 98 machine without the Sound Blaster Live. Well, the old 98 machine didn't have one, but I wanted one so bad. And now here it is. So, behind here we have 384 megs of RAM. On the front here you can see I've securely attached a uh, blue LED that you can't even see. Awesome fan for the front of it. This is the intake fan. Um, so you see all these holes in the front. There isn't much. There is a gap under here for the air to come in. This case's airflow is just horrendous. But then again, this case was not designed for the kind of heat this hardware would generate. As you can see, the only exhaust vent is this tiny thing right here. So I don't have any exhaust fan on here. Unless I cut a hole in the back, which I probably won't do. For a even though this case looks very 98-y, um, 
It would probably be pretty cool if I put this in like an early 2000s gaming computer case. Since first of all, that had the airflow. And second of all, it'd be awesome. So here's the hard drive here. This is a 40 gig Seagate Barracuda. Here it is hooked up right here. We also have a 30, not 80, gig Western Digital with Windows XP on it. That is not plugged in right now. At some point, I do plan to dual boot these, but I don't have it set up yet. I don't yet know of a solution where I can dual boot two separate hard disks and not have to reinstall Windows. I, I can't reinstall Windows 98. This install has been with me for six years now, and it would destroy me to replace it. So, uh, I do know of PowerQuest Boot Magic, and I did previously have that set up on here, but it turns out that there's a whole slew of problems related to that, so. So that's the overview of the system here. Very nice. Alright, let's boot her up. So I had the hard disk set up on the primary ID channel so it doesn't go through this RAID controller, but I don't know how to turn this off, so I'll just do that. So now here's Windows 98, starting up here. Windows 98 second edition with the uh, um, unofficial service pack. So, you know, the pretty quick startup right there. Um, not too bad, I guess. And there it is, there's Windows 98 on my now six year old install of Windows that has been moved across three different computers it is pretty much destroyed. So here's all of my junk on here. Um, got a bunch of stuff. I actually unplugged the router to um, charge my camera, so I actually am not on the network. So you can see we got all kinds of uh, things on here. Here's some of our games and stuff. Here's just some junk, and here's some other stuff. Of course, since it's the Windows 98 machine, gotta play some games. So, uh, here's a personal favorite of mine. Little hamster ball. Um, you know, real 98 gaming, alright. Oh gosh. So if you haven't seen this game before, you're a hamster uh, in a ball and you try and roll around different tracks and it's awesome. So of course in the game here you can hear the amazing soundtrack by Skaven, of course. Um, And you can actually download the soundtrack for this game in Impulse Tracker formats. There you go, that's Hamster Ball. It's pretty good. Uh, we also have right here. Oh, yeah. This somehow runs on Windows 98. This game is from, what, 2009 or something? Um, and it does have full 
native without kernel X compatibility with Windows 98. Um, so this is pretty much a, uh, a matching game. Um, you know, I had this... You had this on the family computer back in, like I said, 2009. My mom actually bought the disc for this game. This is legitimately obtained. Um, and this is uh, Zen mode here. So um, in, the, in the real game, there's like locks and stupid garbage like that. But, you know, I don't really want to kill myself. So I just... <laughs> so yeah, this game's pretty good. And it's awesome. Oh, pro tip, you've run out of ideas. One of them will go... Alright, so that's pretty much that game. It's uh, awesome. Oh yeah, Marble Blast Gold is on here, but it does not run good at all. You also have even more contraptions, which is the sequel to... The th three cool, or is it four cool, to the Incredible Machine. Um, that you might have played on DOS. So if you've somehow never played The Incredible Machine before, it's essentially a puzzle-solving game, um, where you have these... Well, I'll just play the first level here. You essentially have these contraptions here. As you see, we have... Uh, so it's pretty much like Rube Goldberg kind of stuff. So you have all these little thingamajigs, and they all work together to make something happen. So you have this little idiot here. And, um, you see if you put the cheese there, why well, runs after the cheese? So, and then you put the scissors there to cut that thing. And then, um, you put a conveyor belt there, which is powered by the weed whacker noises outside my window. Um, and then he goes up here and then they'll check it out and then, you know. hate you. Yeah, there we go. Stupid a cheese, though. Anyways, this game's pretty good. Some of them I love solving in ridiculous ways that the creators did not intend for them to be solved in. We should have a 98 classic Midtown Madness here. Yeah, you know. Um, there's a the classic. It's pretty much a game where you can, uh, this is actually a copy that my friends gave me a long time ago, and I still have it. This is pretty much a game where you can drive around and do whatever you want, or you can choose to be a law-abiding citizen and stop at the red lights, um, or instead, because that's boring and you don't want to do that, and you know, you can just go like, oh, get out of the way, bitch, and, uh, you know, do stuff like that. And then, so you see, if you get through the drawbridge, it's pretty awesome, although I lost all my speed because I'm an idiot. You know, I also have Midtown Minus 2 somewhere. I don't know where it went. It's probably on my desktop. I just don't see it because I'm blind. So this game is genuinely still good. Wait, this isn't where I wanted to get. <laughs> hey, you stupid idiot. You, you drove on the sidewalk, man. You're not allowed to do that. <laughs> How about you drive the speed limit? And over here is one of my favorite parts in the game. Because if you see that, um, this window here, you could go... So yeah, you can go through there and get up onto this ramp here, which is pretty cool. Although you could never do the awesome jump over the water. Like, I... I you have this video... I'm gonna have to show you this video from 2016 where I do this epic jump. And I genuinely don't know how I did it. Like, just... There we go. There... How? So, yeah, that's about enough for this game. I would show you Midtown Minus 2, because it's pretty cool. It's uh, better in some ways. But I don't know where it went. Um, so, yeah, I think that's about enough for Windows 98 games that I've played on here. Now, um, something else i got to show you. Now, there's also just Windows 98 -y things to do on here as well, but i got to restart for a second can have internet wherever I want. This truly is the ultimate Windows 98 machine. So here's my own website, um, which, you know, will be updated soon. I've updated it a couple times, but, you know, I really should date it a little bit more. 
um, in my links page, there's a ton of links to other important sites, some of them which can be used on retro systems as well, such as most of the pages in the computer tech resources stuff, including Razorback95.com. A amazing website here is centered around, centered around these old computers, and tons of other things you can read with post several postings a month, which is awesome. So, back in this clip from 2016, on the old, old, old Windows 98 machine, you can actually see that you can use YouTube on Windows 98 back then, but of course, nowadays, you can't do that. I mean, it doesn't mean you can't try. Yeah, see, all this junk. For some reason, I always see a lot of websites say that, like, generate their entire page of JavaScript, like, piss off. So there are many other things in here that are offline, um, such as the My Documents folder. So there is actually still a bunch of stuff on here if we go back to like 2018 in the Documents folder. Because I did actually seriously use this as a computer for like writing stuff. So that's where that came from. One of the coolest things in here though is the MIDI's folder where we got all of my MIDI files. So of course, like I said, we have the Sound Blaster Live in here. I don't actually have the live experience on here, which it'd be pretty cool if I did, but I don't have the CD, I only had the driver. Um, which if you're looking for the Sound Blaster SB0100 driver for Windows 98, I got it from philscomputerlab.com. Um, Great site and YouTube channel, right there. So really, I don't have that much else to say. I might make an update video if I have more things to say. So there's my ultimate Windows 98 machine, up and running again. And, um, thank you everyone for watching this pretty long video. And, um, I don't promise that I will regularly make videos, but I will throw some up there every once in a while. Um, and I think pretty cool. And there's a lot of projects over here that need doing, so uh, I'll be sure to make videos in the future. Um, remember to stay tuned to this channel here as well as my other channel, Holidays in Canada. And remember to check back to dvd1000.ca for more pages on retro tech and computers and other stuff. So, thanks for watching, and... Um, See you later. Go away. And one of the coolest parts about it is um, that if you drive through here, you can go onto this ramp over here if there isn't stupid cars in the way. So this ramp right here, um, it's pretty much impossible. Uh, what? what? I'm gonna have to do a second take of that just because I piss off. I'm gonna have to do a second take of that because I didn't expect that to actually work. What the heck? Oh, the shutdown actually worked.